we're back with our favorite dreaming god. Is Cthulhu a god? I don't know. We're back. We need to decide our action for the day. I don't know if I like this game. Like, part of me is like, it's not really my vibe. Part of me is like, we're gonna play again. When are we gonna play again? We're gonna play this again. Uh, wait, what are we gonna do? We could spend time with Crystal, which gives us a shield wand. But I kind of want to... I want to recruit more people. Let's maybe go get a tunic, because if I remember correctly, I don't have clothes for Cthulhu, and I'm assuming the enhanced tunic is for him. Sure, let's go to the post office. Oh, it's busy. Of course it's busy. It's Christmas. It's always fucking busy at the post office on Christmas. It's a fucking hellhole. Welcome to the post office. How can I help you? Do you want to join my party, uh, Thorben? Because I'm, I'm looking for as many adventurers as I can, and... I mean... You'll do for now. Are you hiring? Of course. Wait, why are we- we don't want to get a job, Cthulhu, we just, uh, I mean... I didn't super think through how we were gonna get stuff. Of course, Christmas is always our busiest time, so we're always looking for part-timers. So what made you want to apply at the post office? Well, I- I- it said that I would get an enchanted tunic, and I need one of those. I've always loved mail. Reading mail, moving mail, stealing mail, <laughs> I mean, stealing mail. Me too, I'm quite the mail for- uh, okay. Mail- Maybe don't, sh don't share your kinks with, like, your new employees. Always have been, oh, I think you'll be a welcome addition to the team. Cthulhu has been hired by the post office. Now just stop by whenever you've got some free time and we'll be sure to put your talents to work. Here, you don't forget to wear the official uniform. Is your official uniform an enchanted tunic? It is! This armor for Cthulhu gives him the unstoppable buff at the start of combat. Cool, I don't know what that means, but it's not Christmas Eve the 3rd. Can I put my enchanted tunic on? Yep, let's take that raggedy tunic off. Put the enchanted tunic on. Where do I want to go next? Do I want a big sword? Not really. I do want a bomb, to be fair. Let's go get a bomb. Just because that sounds the most interesting out of all of the options. Cthulhu goes back to the post office. You came just in time. We're short-handed up at the front desk. No time for training. Good luck. Oh, shit. Hello, I'd like to buy some stamps. Uh, sure thing. That'll be a million dollars. Ah, are you sure about that one? Yep, quite sure. Nah, that seems expensive to me, but I really do need those stamps. Here we go. Tell me we get to keep the million, because we could do with some cash. Thank you for your business. Next. Where, 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 where are my, st oh, are you the same person? Where, the uh, I said, next! I'm going to need to talk to your supervisor. Do these look like talking to supervisor conditions? Get the fuck out! I've got a building full of customers, a trader on the inside, and a package that needs to go to Toledo, and that's not even in our dimension. So when I say next, I mean next. Got it? The customer throws a knife at Cthulhu's head as he leaves the building. What the fuck? Not only does this customer have a million dollars on him that he's just fine giving to us, but he fucking throws knives at people. What kind of bitch throws knives? Unfortunately, no one in Cthulhu's party can equip knives, so it's not added to the inventory. The rest of the day passes in a similar fashion. Well, that doesn't seem like the kind of fashion I would want the day to be passing in, but okay. So how was your day? The customers were the worst. So needy. So demanding. Tell me about it. Post offices used to be more focused about the mail. Now they're all about customer service. Check out what I found in the unclaimed bin. It's all yours if you want it. 
can you do that? Just, just take stuff from the unclaimed bin? Uh... I guess if we spend time with Crystal, I don't super care about a shield wand, because her wand is okay. But maybe we, if we spend, we can like upgrade other stuff, we just gotta spend some time with her. Although I wouldn't mind going on an expedition, but let's, let's up Crystal. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Crystal. So, what's fun to do in this joint? I have just the place in mind. Crystal leads Cthulhu to a large park. Jeez, look at these Christmas trees. This is either a lot of Christmas trees, or the biggest Christmas tree you've ever fucking seen. There's a large outdoor ice rink filled with happy skaters. There's also a massive Christmas tree that's so tall the top can barely be seen. So it's one fuck off huge Christmas tree. Oh, I love it here. Being able to control ice with a wave of my hand makes it easy to do well at ice skating. So you're cheating, you cheater. But besides that, it's so peaceful here. Sometimes I like to find a bench to sit on and just gaze up. Look at the star in the tree and also look at the stars in the sky. Quick question. So this is Christmas Town. Is it Christmas all year round? So it's always, you know, the Christmas tree is always decorated. Like, it's, it's always Christmas here, all year round. Sounds a bit irritating. Cthulhu, do you remember your first Christmas? Uh, yeah, it was... I don't know. It was, um... Gosh, maybe 40,000 years ago now? Ah, someone gave me a stone for Christmas, which doesn't sound all that much, but stones are pretty much all there was, you know. Had to make do. I remember my first Christmas like it was yesterday. A particularly eager cultist had bought me my first Christmas present. A rock. It was his little sister, you see. Sure, she was sane at the time. But a few days of staring at me and reading the ancient text fixed that. Watching the drool spill out of the corners of her mouth really helped me understand that joy of the season. That, that, that's horrifying and not understanding the joy of the season at all. Maybe for you. Why do you slip in and out of an accent? You're not supposed to have an accent, but whatever. For me, it did my cold heart good to see how far that poor wretch had fallen. I can see I have a lot of work to do if I'm going to get you to understand the joy of Christmas. But I'm just the person for the job. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll make sure to have a strategy all planned. I need to breathe. Holy fuck. I'll be sure to have a strategy all planned out for maximum Christmas spirit. This is going to be so fun! Yay! I can hardly wait. On the way home, Cthulhu spots a dog chewing on a weird looking stick. A short tussle later, the dog is retrieved of its chew toy. Can we take the dog? I'd love it if we could take the dog. You know, just have a doggo following us around. Although I don't really want to bring the dog into combat, so that's, hmm, problematic. Cthulhu got a shield wand! The weapon for crystal boosts her defense! Don't really fucking care about that. Alright, what do we get? Mystic Cloak. Is that for me? No, because she can have a, uh, a, a jacket and a cloak. So we are, like, steadily upping her. Which is good. Alright, let's go. This is just going to be about upping um, you, Crystal. You better be a lot better by the end of this. Let's go get some ice cream. Why would we get ice cream when it's this weather outside? This is not ice cream weather. Cthulhu and Crystal go to an ice cream parlor. Since most people are sane, it isn't very busy in there. Because, you know, most people don't go have ice cream when it's fucking freezing outside. 
This is my favorite place for ice cream. The designs are ultra cute and everything tastes amazing. Uh, what flavor is, um, well, any of it, really? Like, okay, blue ice cream could be bubblegum. Purple, what flavor is purple or orange? Green could be like a pistachio, maybe. Yellow, uh, it could be like, some, like something citrusy, but. And then another purple, is purple particularly popular? Why is there two tubs of it? Crystal's ice cream arrives and it's three scoops of vanilla set up like a snowman. Kazulu's ice cream is dressed up to look like a penguin. Why did we go out for ice cream and we got vanilla ice cream? We could have gotten vanilla ice cream anywhere. Why, why would you go to an ice cream shop for vanilla ice cream? I like vanilla ice cream, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't go to an ice cream shop to get vanilla ice cream. If I'm gonna go to an ice cream shop, I'm gonna try like a more interesting flavor. Bon appetit! The ice cream is eaten in silence. Cthulhu just sort of lifts his tentacles and just and Crystal stares at him in horror. Not bad, but tormented souls are still the tastiest. Every Christmas day, my grandpa would take me here to celebrate a successful night of work. You know, because he only works once a year, but he makes a really big deal about it. He'd always order the pistachio ice cream, I fucking called it, in the shape of a Christmas tree. He'd even do a bit of magic to make the star on top twinkle. Just the thought that I might never see him again makes me feel... Oh, no, I can't think about it, it's just too awful. Crystal looks like she's about to cry. Uh, I mean, Cthulhu would mock her pain. That's like Cthulhu's whole thing. But also, I want to upgrade. Like, on one hand, Cthulhu would mock her. On the other hand, I want to level up the relationship so I can get good stuff. Nope, we're Cthulhu. Mock her pain. Even if you manage to rescue Santa, he'll just get destroyed when I take over the world. Either way, you're doomed. Oh, what a horrible thing to say! Did you forget the deal that you made with me? Um, like, if this all goes according to plan, the world is fucked. No, I see. In your own weird way, you're trying to tell me to focus on the now and not worry about the future. Ch sure, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm okay now, thank you. As a bonus for being the 100th customer of the day, the ice cream shop gives Cthulhu a special prize. Cthulhu got a mystic cloak. This accessory for Crystal boosts her stats. Cool, it is now Christmas Eve the 6th. Cthulhu feels a pressure on his head, as if someone is trying to smother him with a pillow. You fool! I do not need to breathe! My tentacles absorb up oxygen from the- well, I mean, I guess that's still breathing, it's just breathing in a more complicated way. You fool! I do not need to breathe, and we'll just leave it at that. This is, in fact, what is happening. It is a crackpot with a chicken on their head. Yep, crackpot with a chicken, called it. What is your voice going to be? Wakey, wakey! You got off of me! Oh, wake up, Cthulhu! I found someone who knows where a League of Christmas Evil member is hiding! This is... Baba Yaga! Are you sure? I'm pretty sure Baba Yaga is like... I mean, I get the chicken now. But like, old woman house with... Goose legs? Like... Pretty sure she's more... How do I put this politely? Fucked up looking? Oh, I don't want to read that. I just... I, I also haven't decided what your voice is going to be, but you are the Baba Yaga, and it's like, what voice would you give the Baba Yaga? Ah! Also, I need... Because this is going to be a new follower, isn't it? And I need to not make the mistake of giving them a voice I'm going to regret. Ah, I'm Baba Yaga! Pleased to meet ya, boss! Close enough to what you said. A little bit of goblin in there, which I think is fine. 
The League of Christmas Evil is in the last place you'd expect. Santa's a very own toy workshop. When the cat's away, the mice will play. I only do chicken metaphors. I am not going to be able to remember this voice. When the chicken's away, the chicken will play. <laughs> when the fox is away, the chickens will play. Come on. Makes sense. The chicken are on vacation, so they're having a good time and playing. Not particularly relevant, though. So, new girl with the chicken. No, this isn't your voice. This is Baba Yaga's voice. I'm getting so confused. You go with the chicken on your head. What's with the chicken on your head? I like chickens. That's it. I'm a trendsetter. Everyone be wearing a chicken on their head next. Now it's turning sort of into pirate. Could we have a pirate, Baba Yaga? I mean, we couldn't have a pirate, Baba Yaga. She's not a pirate. Maybe you'll just have a normal fucking voice. Everyone will be wearing on a chicken on their head next season. Baba, Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga, I think I've heard about you. Aren't you supposed to be a lot older, a lot more fucked up looking, you know? Ah, I actually be a thousand year old witch, I just look like a child. You know, the excuse that anime uses for doing weird and creepy things is, ah, they just look like a child. Seriously? Ah, no, that be nuts. Anyone who tells you that is covering for something. What you see is what you get. Indeed, I guess she's a pirate. <laughs> We're just committing. Thanks for the lead. Let's go to Santa's workshop tomorrow. Aye, I be coming with ye. I hard, I fucking, what is your voice now? I hardly think we need to take some kid. And a chicken, don't be dissing me. Crewmate, chuck clack clack, I could not for the life of me remember what you called the people on a fucking boat. It's not crewmate, but I just fuck, 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 whatever. Bakwak! I mean, a, a, a parrot, pirates have parrots, she has a chicken, close enough. We can handle things just fine by ourselves. And that's where you're wrong! Baba Yaga and Gluck Gluck have joined your party! I hate it when he does that. In combat, Baba can gain chicken power. Use a chicken move or spend all chicken power in order to boost the ability's power. At 100% chicken power, the chicken moves are twice as effective. At 200%, three times as effective. Use the power of chicken wisely in order to save Christmas. Oh, good. There's more stuff I'm not going to remember. I can't even remember what fucking voices I give these people and you want me to remember all of this? If she wants to join us in our noble quest to rescue Santa, I say the more the merrier. Your voices are completely fucked up. I don't want to be rescuing Santa. He can be staying out the picture for all I care. Ah, uh, look at me, I'm Santa. I'm a big fat stupid head. What? Well, the what? Seriously, you can't mean that! Santa has been stiffing me in presents for years. I'm going to find him and make him give me what's rightfully mine with interest. Ah, yeah, see, she's off her booty. She has a parrot or close enough. This'll do. I've changed... Uh, uh, mm, what's your fucking voice? I've changed my mind. Baba Yaga, let's make the big man pay. Oh, I hope this is your voice. I don't think it is. Aye, ye got it, boss. Ye got it, Captain. Aye. I uh, f feel like I'm losing control of this narrative, which is ironic because my voice has like, stayed more or less the same. It's just like a stupid high-pitched voice and it's easy to remember. Tell me about it.